God is a loving Father, and He only wants to give us the very, very best. The wages of sin is death, and it is not the will of God that any man perish. And therefore, God has given in each of us a built-in check, our conscience, that tells us right from wrong. But God will never stop us from doing what we want to do. He will not stand in our way if we want to go wrong. But if we choose to do wrong, then the wrath of God comes on us. I read from Romans chapter 1 verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. If we continue in our error, our evil ways, then God delivers us. He hands us over to our evil. We read in verse 24, Therefore God gave them over to the lusts of their hearts to impurity. Verse 26, For this reason God gave them over to degrading passions. Verse 28, And as they did not see fit to acknowledge God any longer, God gave them over to a depraved mind to do those things which are not proper, being filled with all unrighteousness, wickedness, greed, malice, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, malice, they are gossips, slanderers, haters of God, insolent, arrogant, boastful, inventors of evil, disobedient to parents, without understanding, untrustworthy, unloving, unmerciful. And although they know the ordinance of God, that those who practice such things are worthy of death, they not only do the same, but also give hearty approval to those who practice them. What has happened to these people? Why have they gone rotten? So many people have gone totally rotten. God has given them over to a depraved mind, to a useless mind. There is no preservation anymore, no salt anymore. They are delivered to the evil. They are delivered to their desires so that they can be destroyed in the wrath of God. If we persist in our evil, then God will deliver us to that evil. And that is why so many believers say that they cannot stop sinning. They've been delivered to their sins. They've been delivered to their vices. God handed them over to a depraved mind. Dear friend, has God handed you over? Or are you serious with Jesus? Do you really want to follow him? May Jesus bless you.